Hello, I'm Lori, an oncology account manager for Podolegio, Mogamulism app. Podolegio is indicated for the treatment of adult patients with relapsed or refractory mycosis fungoides or Cesare syndrome after at least one prior systemic therapy. In the clinical trial, the most common adverse reactions reported in 20% or more patients were rash, drug eruption, infusion reaction, fatigue, diarrhea, upper respiratory tract infection, and musculoskeletal pain. Welcome to Podolegio Points. I'd like to discuss the efficacy of Podolegio, specifically focusing on skin as seen in the Maverick trial. Podolegio was approved by the FDA based on results from Maverick, the largest randomized study of a systemic therapy for MF and SS. The primary endpoint was progression-free survival, or PFS, which was rigorously assessed across four disease compartments, skin, blood, lymph nodes, and viscera. If there was progression in any one compartment, the patient was discontinued from the study. Podolegio demonstrated superior progression-free survival versus varinostat, more than doubling the time to progression with a median of 7.6 months versus 3.1 months with varinostat. Response by disease compartment was an ad hoc analysis of a secondary endpoint. Skin response was measured by MSWAT. By definition, skin had to show at least 50% clearance to be considered a response. A complete response was defined as 100% skin clearance. The response had to have lasted at least four weeks to be confirmed. Podolegio showed a response rate two times higher than varinostat. This response also lasted two times longer. Note the duration of response was a post hoc analysis, which cannot be used to demonstrate differences between treatments and may not be applicable to all patients initiating podolegio. The median time to response in skin was three months for podolegio and 2.7 months for varinostat. Another way to look at efficacy in skin is plotting the skin responses for each individual patient in Maverick. This represents their best response in MSWAD at any single visit during the trial, whether or not they ended up meeting the response criteria as defined in the study protocol. In this waterfall chart, each vertical line represents a single patient. The solid horizontal line at zero represents no improvement and no decline from baseline. Any vertical bar above baseline indicates worsening skin activity, defined as increasing MSWAT, while the bars below zero represent improved skin activity, defined as decreasing MSWAT. Any improvement in skin between zero and the dotted lines, that is just less than 50% improvement, did not meet the response criteria as defined in the study protocol. So, while they did show improvement, these patients were considered non-responders in Maverick. More patients treated with Podolegio showed a skin improvement than those treated with Varinostat. Finally, let me remind you of adverse reactions that occurred in 10% or more of Podolegio patients, including those that occurred at a 2% higher rate than Varinostat. The most common adverse reactions were infusion reaction and drug eruption. Feel free to pause the video and review the table in greater detail. Additional information about adverse reactions can be found in the package insert available at podolegiohcp.com. I hope this information was helpful. If you have any questions about Podolegio, please contact your oncology account manager. Stay on the lookout for more video details from me and my colleagues at Kiowa Kieran. Please take a brief moment to read and listen to the full important safety information for Podolegio. And thank you for your time. Indication. Podolegio mogamulizumab KPKC injection for intravenous infusion is indicated for the treatment of adult patients with relapsed or refractory mycosis fungoides, MF, or Cesare syndrome, SS, after at least one prior systemic therapy. Important safety information, warnings and precautions. Dermatologic toxicity. Monitor patients for rash throughout the course of treatment. For patients who experienced dermatologic toxicity in trial one, the median time to onset was 15 weeks, with 25% of cases occurring after 31 weeks. Interrupt podolegio for moderate or severe rash, grades 2 or 3. Permanently discontinue podolegio for life-threatening grade 4 rash or for any Stevens-Johnson syndrome, SJS, or toxic epidermal necrolysis, 10. Infusion reactions. Most infusion reactions occur during or shortly after the first infusion. 
Infusion reactions can also occur with subsequent infusions. Monitor patients closely for signs and symptoms of infusion reactions and interrupt the infusion for any grade reaction and treat promptly. Permanently discontinue podoligio for any life-threatening grade 4 infusion reaction. Infections. Monitor patients for signs and symptoms of infection and treat promptly. Autoimmune complications. Interrupt or permanently discontinue podoligio as appropriate for suspected immune-mediated adverse reactions. Consider the benefit-risk of podoligio in patients with a history of autoimmune disease. Complications of allogeneic HSCT after podoligio. Increased risk of transplant complications have been reported in patients who received allogeneic HSCT after podoligio. Follow patients closely for early evidence of transplant-related complications. Adverse reactions. The most common adverse reactions reported in greater than or equal to 10% of patients with podoligio in the clinical trial were rash, including drug eruption, 35%, infusion reaction, 33%, Fatigue, 31%, diarrhea, 28%, drug eruption, 24%, upper respiratory tract infection, 22%, musculoskeletal pain, 22%, skin infection, 19%, pyrexia, 17%, edema, 16%, nausea, 16%, headache, 14%, thrombocytopenia, 14%, constipation, 13%, anemia, 12%, mucositis 12%, cough 11%, and hypertension 10%. You are encouraged to report suspected adverse reactions to Kiowa Kieran Incorporated at 1-844-768-3544 or FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or fda.gov slash medwatch. To learn more about Podoligio, visit podoligiohcp.com.